Hello, Jim Jug 23 here, and for 31 movies for 31 days of Halloween, me and Quentin watched Fred 2, Night of the Living Fred. So we watched Fred 2. Uh, how you, what do you think? I'd seen it before. I've seen it a couple times. It's not good. It's not good. Um, every scene is bad. I feel like the movie would be better if Fred wasn't doing that voice. Uh, it just makes every scene harder to watch. John Cena's there. <laughs> I don't know why John Cena's there, but he's going crazy. John Cena's probably the best part. Um, Alex from Modern Family is being weird and creepy. She doesn't really actually impact the plot at all, really. The vampire teacher seems chill as fuck. And like, I don't understand Fred's whole plan, like of Fred being a vampire, making Mr. Devin get his job back. That's not how that works. He would still be a vampire. But Mr. Devin quit. Devlin, whatever. There's like this horrible scene where he has like Scrabble tiles and he has Devlin and he's able to make it into Devil but he has the N and he just keeps moving the N front or behind it for like three minutes. He just keeps saying Dev, Devil N or N Devil. It's so bad. Um... It's not funny. <laughs> it's not funny. The lines aren't funny. John Cena is the only funny part that's actually genuinely intentionally funny. Unless it's the Twilight parody scene. And even that goes on too long. Like initially it's funny and then like it goes on forever. And then by the way, of course it has no impact on the plot. It's just a movie of cutaways with a thin line plot of nothing. Well, who was your favorite character? It's John Cena. John Cena's a better character. He'll always be the best character. I don't think peanut butter will like very much. Uh, what would you rate it? It's down. It's a not good. Because it's not a 0.5, it's not a 0, it's not a 1, it's not a 2, okay? It's too good to be that. But it's not a 3 or a 4 or a 5 or any of that above, because it's too bad. And it can't sit in the middle of none of that. It is an undefinable fever dream masterpiece, okay? I had an insane amount of fun watching this. But I have no idea what ha was happening, constantly. It was, I never knew what was happening actually in the movie and what was a dream, what was... I entered a headspace that you cannot enter in normal reality. You need to put on this movie. This is the only way you can be within this headspace of just true original brain mind. There is nothing to describe what it's like to be in the universe of this movie. It is not good and it is also amazing. It is perplexing, it is beautiful, and it is... It can't be one of the worst movies I've ever seen. But it is also one of the worst movies I've ever seen. I can't decide. Probably need that. <laughs> I'm sorry, Quinn. I know you love this movie, <laughs> but this is an interesting movie. I think it's very good. No, you don't. So the whole movie is Fred is trying to um, <laughs> so his, his music teacher, he gets a new music teacher. And he thinks that his music teacher is a vampire. It's a very spooky movie. It's pretty scary at times. No, it doesn't. 
It's um, so his teacher is a vampire. He thinks so. He does all this stuff uh, to try and uh, stop him. Um, but he also a lot of the stuff he just kind of makes up in his head. There's a lot of random dream sequences that happen that don't make any sense and have no relevance. Uh, it's at least 30 minutes of the movie is just these random cutaway gags. 40 at least. Like, there's this one time with John Cena, which is the best part of the movie, where John Cena's like, I need your help! And then they go in, into this WWE ring and face Kevin and the teacher Mr. in a wrestling Devil. match. Uh, the mom is super horny in this movie, and she's always talking like this and trying to fuck the teacher. It got me a little bit, like, flustered, though. Cause... Uh, but I guess there's this love dynamic with Fred and his friend. His friend loves him, but then there's also Ariel Winter. Bro, him and Bertha for from, life. Uh, uh, modern Family. <laughs> just it, It's just random shit, and it doesn't make any sense. Um... Why is there a blood? They have a blood drive at the school, and then they got the. Because he's a vampire! Just for the teacher to be like, I want to steal your blood. How much is. There's. In the scenes, there's these random little, uh, like, cutaway <laughs> things where he moves around the room in random places, and it doesn't make any sense. And it's just confusing when he's trying to talk. The pacing's really weird. He'll go from school back to home, back to school, back to home. And he's just random points and he talks to the audience so the audience is like real but then at the at the end of the movie we figure out that mr devlin was not a vampire and he tries to do this weird solution where i guess making people that think that fred's a vampire will somehow change that and then at the very end mr devlin leaves and you can't see him in the mirror so apparently he is a vampire or fred is tweaking off the galaxy gas hard in this movie it's pretty much just a hour and 20 minute movie of fred tweaking on drugs and sometimes it's fun but sometimes you get a scene where they're cooking a sock for no reason no but plot relevance fire. not funny just what's going on in this movie um fred thinks his teacher's a vampire It's a very confusing movie. Who's the best character? The best character is John Cena! <laughs> what would you rate it? Low John Cena. Uh, I would rate it a about a give me a 2 out of 10. There's some there. there's enough to where it's kind of not it's not even like a movie that you can really be like, well, this is the worst thing in the in the history of anything. Because it's just a really, really, really bad, like, Disney Channel kind of movie. It's Nickelodeon. I know, but, like, it's kind of kind of thing is what I mean. But, uh, like, it's just like a kid's, like, family movie thing. I don't even know what's going on in this movie. And his name is John C. For October, the word was camp, so I came up with this evil camp, um, which is sure to be um, a pretty campy movie. Um, but that's the video. Thanks for watching.